Next we look at evidence from ionization energies and we have a graph of successive ionization energies of aluminium. This shows you the ionization energy to remove the first 12 electrons from aluminium. We can roughly separate these electrons into three bands. Band 1 which are the electrons furthest from the nucleus, band 2 which are the electrons in the middle shell and band 3 which are the electrons closest to the nucleus. So for band 1 these electrons are removed from the energy level furthest from the nucleus that's n equals 3. Therefore they require the least energy to remove and that's because of the weaker electrostatic attraction from the nucleus and shielding by inner electrons. Next we look at band 2. These electrons are removed from the second main energy level that's n equals 2. Notice the jump between the third and fourth ionization energy so that's this jump here. This is evidence of the existence of energy levels within the atom. And finally we have band 3. These electrons are being removed from the energy level closest to the nucleus, that's n equals 1. These electrons require the most energy to remove because of the strong electrostatic attraction and the lack of shielding from the positive nucleus.